day one of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Uh, we got four games on Monday, uh, eight series obviously kicking off in the next uh, couple of days. Mm -hmm. So let's start with this, okay? We're each going to pick one playoff series. Let's start with this. The one playoff series, if I told you, Julian, you have to guarantee this series is going seven. What's your answer? What's the one series you're like, I think this is going seven games? First series that comes to mind is Minnesota Dallas. I just find those two teams are, I think of all of the series that has the potential to be the closest one. I think they're pretty similar in terms of the offensive talent that they bring in terms of their defensive abilities as well. I think, I mean, obviously Dallas has a guy like Miro Heiskanen who's done really well on both ends. Um, but I, I feel as if the goaltending too could be a really interesting story. We don't know as of this recording, if, Philip Gustafson or, or Marc-Andre Fleury will start in game one, but we know Jake Ottinger will, will be in between the pipes. Like there's a lot of fun storylines in this series and a lot of talent on both sides. And I think it's a bit difficult for me to pick uh, a winner between that. I could have easily said Tampa Toronto. I could have easily said uh, the devils and the Rangers, but uh, there's something about Minnesota and Dallas that appeals to me. And I think that's the series that's going to go seven. Okay. I'm going the series that I think is going to go seven, Winnipeg, Vegas. And it's part partly because I just don't know what to expect out of Winnipeg. And Hellebuck is the type of guy that can, you know, I think Connor Hellebuck is good for stealing you at least one game in that series, maybe more. Yeah. Uh, and, and and Vegas is goaltending. I, uh, I don't know. I, there's something about that series that makes me feel like it's going to go seven games. So if I had to pick and, and look, I, I'm hoping that we get four series or five series that go seven games. Because the one good thing, like if you're a listener to this podcast and your favorite team is out of the playoffs, so maybe you're, you know, a Calgary fan, Ottawa fan, Philadelphia, you know, whatever, Columbus, your team's out of the playoffs. There's nothing better than watching playoff game sevens and then overtimes when you have no kind of, you have no, no horse in the race, so to speak. Like, Absolutely. You're watching guilt-free. Absolutely. Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes, Is there a yes, better yes. feeling? I saw uh, well, I guess one of my friends. Maybe if your team's in the playoffs. If your team's that in the too. playoffs, it's probably a better feeling. But... Yeah, and, and that team wins. Like you're, you're, That's like the, the greatest feeling of all. Like I saw one of my friends uh, tweet out, um, you know, it's the beginning of a, a stressful time in the playoffs. So you do with the playoffs coming up. And I saw that tweet and I'm like, I don't have to worry about that like at all. It's been years since I like got like my fandom so riled up where I was like so just hoping that a team would do well in the playoffs. And now like I could just chill and just enjoy the games as they are. And like like it doesn't take much for me to get like excited about certain things. So like seeing like a even if it's not a team I root for, I mean I don't root for any team, but like seeing a team like score goal in OT, like I get riled up anyways, like, oh they did it. Like that's awesome. Like so like I get all the fun of of living playoff drama and feeling all the chills, yes. and I could leave that experience and know that like, okay, my team is not down two nothing in a series. Like I'm I'm good, I'm good. It's yeah. great. I like being I on the no fan side. I like this side. I know it's weird. Like, uh, and I think, but part of it is because we covered the sport, so we don't have the the fandom, so to speak, of of regular fans, but. I mean, look, it is more fun when the team that you cover makes the playoffs, but there's something to be said for, like you said, just guilt-free. Hey, you know what? I'm just going to settle down. I'm going to watch games. And, and, and whoever wins, it doesn't matter to me. Like, I, I don't I don't particularly care. So you and I gave our – we each picked a series, I, ironically, both in the Western Conference that we think will go seven games. Now let's go to the opposite end of the spectrum. And this might be a little bit harder. Yes. Give me this series that you think, if you had to pick, will end in a sweep. What's it going to be? And I, if we get one, I think it'll be one. What's it going to be? The one series I thought would have ended in a sweep. I'm not convinced anymore that it'll end in a sweep. Uh, it, I probably would have been Florida, Boston, but even then, like just, I have a hard time thinking that like Florida can't win at least one game. Now you're seeing reports that like a sickness has an illness has spread through the Boston Bruins. Playoff uh, fever. Playoff fever. Clearly. I'm not saying Boston's going to lose. I mean, we have stakes with Boston for something else. Right. We're, we're not saying that Boston's going to lose. We're just not. We're just saying Boston's not going to win. That's what, that's what we're I don't, saying. Could you could you imagine if the Boston Bruins lost in the first round? 
Could you yes, I could somehow... because that's the stupidity of the NHL. Like, like if they dominant... lost to Florida, I, you, you're telling me, okay, it's not out of the realm of possibility. That's all. No, it's like, not. It's absolutely nothing. not. Like, like, like the, people forget. Like the Tampa Bay Lightning were like the best team in the NHL in 2019, and they lost in the. They were swept in the first round by yeah. a team that had never won a playoff series in their history. And and remember, in Game One of that series in 2019. Tampa had a three nothing lead early in the game they and did. everyone. And remember everyone was like, why are we even bothering with this series? This series is going to be so washed. We were thought like, man, like, this we is a waste, right. of, waste of days. Somebody had a monkey's paw that they're like, you know, the, the old wish, like, why are we even playing this series? It's going to end up in a sweep. And like somewhere, some genie was like, your wish has been granted. And you're like, well, I guess it was <laughs> it's just not the way, not the way that we saw it. So, Pick your series. What's the series that you think, you know what? It's going to end up in a sweep. So I don't think it's Florida, Boston. Islanders, Carolina, I don't think it will be. Tampa, Toronto, it can't be. Although that would be hilarious. Uh, New Jersey, Rangers, no. Uh, Colorado, Seattle, no. Yeah, I see. I, 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 you don't think no. so, right? Like, or, or do you feel like there's not going to be a sweep? Like, you, I don't you, like, think so. Like, at worst, like... It's like a five game series somewhere. Colorado, remember, they're banged up too. I mean, they're not going to have Gabe Landeskog. Uh, Seattle just, they've surprised a lot of teams. And, you know, I don't see them going down in a sweep. I just, it's really hard for me to pick one series that's going to end in a sweep. And I don't see that happening. You know what I could say? Now you're going to laugh at this and okay. you're going to tell me that I'm, this is a stupid take. But I could see, hear me out on this. Okay. Just hear me out. I could see, Dallas, Minnesota ending in a sweep, but I can't even sit here and tell you which of the teams will sweep the other team. Isn't that crazy? That's like, very interesting. I think that's going to be it's close, an... but you think that's going to be a sweep. That could, could be what, more opposite. What, I, I could see it being a four game sweep or like a sweep where like Jake Ottinger just stands on his head. They win 3 2 in overtime, 2 1, 4 3, 3 2. And you're like, well, they were evenly matched, but all the breaks went to Dallas. Like, I could. It wouldn't shock me, as as weird as that is, that it's a four game sweep and the team that that sweeps wins by like a total of five goals. Isn't isn't this more proof that like the unpredictability of the Stanley Cup playoffs makes picking these games so hard, makes picking these series so hard? Like we're we're gonna we're gonna spend all day making these series picks uh, well, if we haven't done so already, and then in about two weeks' time we're gonna talk about how. Um, I don't know, the Carolina Hurricanes don't look like the playoff team we thought they were going to be or right. how the Tampa Bay Lightning's dynasty may have come to an end at the hand of the Toronto Maple Leafs or, or alternatively, how the hell did the Toronto Maple Leafs find a way to bungle this up again? Like, I, like, 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 we don't know. We don't, we oh, really I know. don't know. Like, I, okay, I think another way to put it, and I'm with you, like, like this is, like, it feels very, like if you were filling out one of those brackets on NHL.com or whatever, like you're right. In two weeks from now, you look, you might look like an idiot, but we we're all gonna look like idiots. Let me let me rephrase it. Let me put it this way. Tell me if you agree with this. Okay. I think Julian, there's only like three teams, maybe four, but three teams. Like if they won the cup, I'd be truly shocked. Everybody else, three teams. Would, like okay, so Seattle would shock me. Yes, I would. Absolutely. I would generally be surprised. Hundred percent. Um, I. Th- just because of the way that the year has gone for them this year, Florida would shock me. Yeah. And maybe the Islanders. Wait, but I so, feel so, like if so, so the Devils wouldn't the... shock you? No. No, they wouldn't. Wow. Like, because they, they just took such a quantum leap forward, and they were a 108-point you know, whatever team, and they got a legit star in Hughes, and, and like, it wouldn't stun me. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like there's only like three teams that if they won the cup, I'd be like, man, I didn't see that coming. That's interesting. I mean, like who would it be for you? Like who would, okay. You agree with me. Seattle would shock you. Yeah. Seattle would shock Florida me would for probably sure. shock you. Florida would shock me for sure. And, um, and, the Islanders, and, 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 I'm not, I'm not sure they get out that first round. So like that would, I would think they would need yeah. like goaltending to get themselves there, but they also know what to do. So it's a, at least from a defensive standpoint, so maybe it wouldn't completely shock Toronto would shock yeah. me. Toronto would shock. Would, me. It would really. See, it would shock me. It would shock I, me because, like, this is a team of that the history. That's it. Like the Charlie okay. Brown trying to kick the football, and then like 
you know, they fi- if they find a way to do it, they they would mean that they would have exercised. Think about it. Think about Toronto's path. If Toronto gets to the Cup final, period, that means they'll have dismantled Tampa Bay. If Boston wins, they'll have beaten Boston, and they're probably going to get like Carolina in the conference final. That's going to be impressive. And if they win, that's them beating what Colorado, Edmonton, and I understand Dallas, that like fine, yeah, you know, Dallas. Yeah. Maybe Los Angeles, even. They're still beating a really good team in the Western Conference. I understand that uh, some people look at the West and like, okay, it's really Colorado, maybe Edmonton, and that's it. But like, there's some really good teams in that Western Conference. And if the and if the Leafs do that, like, that's a team that has been, look, they have the fan base that they have. They have the, you know, they, they've centered themselves as the team in the hockey universe. They make all the money and all that. I get all that. But they still have that choker label that's associated to them. Like they have all the, you could tell me all about how they have all this advancement yeah. beyond the their their organization and sports science and all that. Like they haven't done it in almost twenty years, just getting out of the first round. So like if they do it and they go all the way to the final and they win, that would completely shock me. I understand for some people it would be a pleasant surprise, and maybe be like, no, this is the team that was built to be as talented as they were. They should be in this position. It's still a damn shot. So I'll be going to throw Toronto in there, yeah, but not okay. because of talent, but because of purely off of story. Yeah, historically, yeah. No, no, I mean, listen, like, you, they are in what kind of the Chicago Cubs were in, the Boston yep. Red Sox, that until you do it, you're going to, unfortunately, you carry the burden and the weight of the generations before you. It's it, right or wrong, it, it it's there, right? And, yep. and until you vanquish those, uh, you know, demons – they're with you for the ride. Uh, so yeah, I, I I could see that. I could see that for sure. But really, I think I think where I come down on this, you can count on one hand the number of teams that if they won the cup, it would shock you. And I like like I said, I feel like there's 12, 10, 11, 12 teams that if they win the cup, I'd be like, yeah, I could see it. I Is that good it. or so bad? It's, it's fun. I think it's good. You know what? I think it's good. I because like because there are a lot of talented teams. Like if Winnipeg, like, because they at one point were like the best team in Canada at one point. If they find a way to like yeah. figure it all out and they go to the final and they win, does that not shock you a little bit considering they did have that dip near the end of the year? Yeah, like I guess from a dip perspective, yes, but not from an on-ice talent perspective where they have arguably True. one of the best three goalies on the planet in Hellebuck. Uh, you know, Shifley had a great year. Kyle Connor, I think, is one of the best snipers in the game. Uh, like they, they, they've got talent. They've got a... a, a pretty decent defense court. Like I, you know, Josh Morrissey, his, his season probably mirrored the jets in so many ways, right? Like it, where he was a Norris trophy front runner and then kind of dipped, but like, I like from a talent perspective, I think they've got it all there, but it, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Like I, I'm excited for this. And I, and I think, um, Me too. sometimes we, we curse the NHL and we're like, damn this league, whatever, but you know what? Sometimes it's fun too. 